The history of this country is one of constant expansion, starting with the expulsion of the Indians and continuing with wars overseas. This is presented in our history books as something to be proud of. In fact, this expansion, which benefited the elite, cost the lives of millions of people here and abroad. From the moment Christopher Columbus landed in the Bahamas, it was assumed that the Indians were not human beings, and they were systematically enslaved and murdered in the Spanish quest for gold. The truth about Columbus has generally been ignored, but there was an early voice describing what really happened. This was the Spanish priest, Bartolomé de las Casas. Into this land of meek outcasts, there came some Spaniards who immediately behaved like ravening wild beasts, killing, terrorizing, afflicting, torturing, and destroying the native peoples. And to such a degree that this island of Hispaniola, once so populous, having a population that I estimated to be more than three millions, has now a population of barely 200 persons. Their reason for killing and destroying such an infinite number of souls is that the Christians have an ultimate aim, which is to acquire gold and to swell themselves with riches in a very brief time and thus rise to a high estate disproportionate to their merits. The Indians began to seek ways to throw the Christians out of their lands. The Christians with their horses and swords and pikes began to carry out massacres and strange cruelties against them. They made some low, wide gallows on which the hanged victim's feet almost touched the ground. When tied to the stake, the cacique, Hatue, was told by a Franciscan friar about the God of the Christians, and he was told what he could do in the brief time that remained to him in order to be saved and go to heaven. The cacique, who had never heard any of this before, asked the Franciscan friar if Christians all went to heaven. When told that they did, he said he would prefer to go to hell. 